A fundamental skill you need for physics is the ability to convert units. In physics, we have things called standard units. These are units which we compare all other metric quantities to. What does this mean? Basically, it means that all units are a certain times the amount of their respective standard unit. For example, the kilo and the centi would define units that are, respectively, a thousand or a hundredth of a standard unit. Their standard unit of length is the meter, their standard unit of time is the second, and their standard unit of mass is the kilogram. In physics, we usually like to work only in standard units, mostly because derived units such as a newton are a composition of standard units. If you multiplied a mass in grams and an acceleration in centimeters per second squared, you would not get kilograms per meter per second squared. Thus, it would not be a newton. Because of this, we often have to convert units we're given to the respective standard units before we begin a problem. Now, a lot of conversions can usually be done in our head. For example, if I told you that something was moving at 3600 meters per hour, you could just multiply 60 minutes times 60 seconds to get 3600 meters per 3600 seconds, or 1 meter per second. However, not all conversions are that easy. For example, what if I told you something was moving at 72 kilometers per minute, and I wanted you to convert that to meters per second? That's not exactly something most people are comfortable doing in their head. So, to do this, we do something called chain link conversion. The way we do this is by writing out the quantity we're converting as a fraction with units on the top and bottom. Then, we pretend we're canceling out units. We can do this by multiplying the original quantity by fractions that are equivalent to 1. For example, 1 hour over 3600 seconds is equal to 1. Remember, multiplying any fraction by 1 doesn't change it. Then, we cross out the units that divide out and repeat the process until the only remaining units are the ones we're converting to. Then, all that's left is to multiply all the numbers on the top and all the numbers on the bottom and divide those two answers. Bam! Conversion is made easy.